Hello, M-I-K-A-B-A-2000. <laughs> I don't know how to say your name. Anyway, um, you asked a question in email. Was there ever a time I was in denial of Jake's autism? And after the diagnosis. Before the diagnosis, I was in denial that there was an issue because I didn't want to have to deal with taking care of the issue. But as soon as I realized that he was autistic or had a, you know, a developmental delay and had issues, I uh, got involved and I put him on the diet. And after the diet, a month or two of the diet, I thought that he would be fine. Within six months, I thought Jake would be 100% fine. But he wasn't, so I started looking towards the next thing. Well, what is it? What is it? What is it? You know, keep always looking like, well, okay, so the diet doesn't completely cure him. What will completely cure him? Not realizing that, you know, he, he's just a kid who has some genetic issues plus a developmental delay. Where he gets the developmental delay from, I don't know. But I started my journey on trying to figure out what autism was as time went on. And as far as people tell me, oh, he's fine, you over, you know, exaggerated or, you know, he, he looks totally normal to me. It's not their kid. And, you know, they're trying to be supportive. But what they're basically trying to say is he's going to be OK. Your kid's going to be OK. Your, your kid will eventually fit in and your kid's going to make a place for themselves in this life and, and probably be in an indistinguishable way. But the whole concept of you can start resting on your laurels is false. You got to keep going. You have to keep on working to overcome the, whatever issues your kid has socially <clears throat> or um, any, any other kind of issues that your kid has. It doesn't matter if they're like social. They just could be learning, you know, speech delays. Your kid could be extremely social. Um, and just need some speech therapy. Jake needs speech therapy, and that'll that'll help increase his um, social skills too. <clears throat> but you can't let you know yourself start believing that your kid is one hundred percent fine. You see that, that there's an issue, you need to address it, and you, you need to work on those issues by medical or whatever. Um, don't run away from the label autistic. Don't say like, you know, my kid's not autistic and all that. I, I don't even know what the word autistic really means. What really is autism? I challenge anybody to come up with a definitive definition of autism. You can't do it. I don't care who they are. I don't care what expert it is. I'll ask them. I'll challenge them. Tell me exactly what autism is. And you're going to see the real experts will start telling you about what well, you know, that's a very tricky question. Nobody really knows. It's very difficult. Is it genetic? Is it biomedical? The uh, quasi experts will sit there and, and, you know, tell you, well, autism is this, autism is that, autism is this. They don't know. They don't know at all. Anyone who tells you they know what autism is, they're, they're wrong because it's too broad and too general of a term. So don't get hung up on the label. Is your kid autistic or not? And your kid has a developmental delay or your kid has some social issues or your kid just has some issues in general. You deal with them and you, you don't get hung up on people telling you, your kid's normal, your kid's fine. Well, if you're still recognizing some areas in your child that needs, you know, that need to be worked on, your kid's fine, but they do have some challenges that other kids don't have and you have to work on them. And if you really, you know, put in the time and effort, it'll pay off for your kid. So uh, I was never in denial that my child wasn't up to par with the other kids. As far as the label autism, um, I think it's a meaningless label. I, I just think it's meaningless. I, I, I don't, it puts you in a, it, it differentiates itself from schizophrenia and bipolarism and depression, <laughs> but it's just a general term. And it'll get you in the ballpark of what the issues your kid could have. You know, if you say your kid's autistic, it'll get you in the ballpark of, as to what their issues are. But it won't do you much good in telling you why they have those issues. So it's a very general term. Um, so don't be in denial that your kid has issues. Don't worry about the word autism. Just keep on working on those issues. But don't let people start telling you your kid's normal and your kid's fine. If you see areas that your kid can't... Uh, you know, excel as much as the other kids can, then deal with it. Just say, okay, I, I need to address this. But never get hung up on, 
is my kid autistic or isn't my kid autistic? That won't get you anywhere. Just look at saying, does my kid have challenges? How do I overcome those challenges? So I hope this, you know, video helped you a little bit. Um, but I, I was never in denial that my child had issues after I realized he was autistic. Um, as far as was I in denial that he was autistic or not? I've gone back and forth with that, but then I realize I go back and forth with the question of what is autism. But like I said, don't, you know, live in denial that your kid, that's Jake right now. Jake, come on in. Hey, Daddy. What's up? What were you doing? I was swimming. Were you swimming? Yeah, I'm going to change. Because I'm always so wet. Okay, honey. Alrighty. Have a good one.